right there, Mitchell. Good fish. Give me some. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Punching bites. Look at that. Right there. Look at that, dude. Stone. Intro time. Mitch says, I don't know. He's like, I don't know if we're ready for the intro or not. He says he's not ready. I'm ready. Of course I'm ready. I got both cameras on Mitchell. I'm always. You always have that one running so you can whisper some I'm always strapped. Oh, it's on. We are back with another video. It's me, we got Mitchell today, and what are we doing? Uh, we no, 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 stop, stop. What? Before you say anything, bring the excitement from here I can't. to I here. I enough coffee. Oh my but gosh, excuses, we are excuses. going to catch some shallow flowage walleyes that are actually going to be big. That's Hopefully. The, that's the plan. Well, that's what that's we hope is going to go on. So yeah, as Mitch stated, we are on the infamous chip of flowage here in northern Wisconsin. If you guys are unfamiliar with this body of water, we're going to get them encoded down real quick here. If you guys are unfamiliar with this body of water, it's kind of like northern Wisconsin's trademark lake, would you say so, Mitchell? And uh, the walleye fishing overall, as far as size goes, I mean, honestly, just pretty much isn't good, right? <laughs> I mean, to, to sugarcoat it, it pretty much isn't good. To say it realistically, it pretty, I mean, it pretty much sucks. A lot of small fish. That's just why I don't spend a lot of time on here, because I don't really have a lot of interest in catching 13-inch walleyes. But... One thing that happens on a lot of these fluid systems, reservoirs, is, you know, really everywhere in this time of year, is when it starts getting cold, you get fish pushing back shallow. And there's two times a year where you can isolate big fish in shallow water. One of those times is spring, one of those times is late fall. Obviously late fall right now, we hope that uh, we can kind of find some of these bigger fish up on some of this real shallow, literally three to six, seven feet of water stuff. You know, most of the lakes we fish are generally pretty clear just because that's kind of the, the good, the better lakes in the area that I fish most of the time. But this lake, foot, couple feet visibility, what? I just tried to take a drink of water with the cap on. Oh, nice. The guy's having a good, just a good start <laughs> to his day. But, uh, you know, if you guys fish one of these dirty systems in the fall, one of these shallow reservoirs, shallow flowage type stuff, um, this should be a great video to kind of walk you guys through the process and what we're looking for. So stay tuned. We're going to get it on. Get some baits going, get some jigs going, jigging way up shallow. Hopefully catch some of these solid 15 to 23-ish, 24-ish inch flowage walleyes. Stay tuned. Hooked up. Fish on. I don't think this is a walleye though. It is a walleye. Just didn't feel like a walleye for a second. All right, well, number one here. No, it's not. Ah, he's 15 though, for sure, right? All right, there we go. Number one in the boat. Wow, I didn't think that was that big. And really, it's really not that big <laughs> in comparison to the fish we've been catching everywhere, but. You know what, out here, these are highly sought after, very difficult to get on these fish. And a lot of these flowage systems fish this way. You know, you're talking about lakes that maybe don't have super high walleye densities, generally have a lot of short fish, really small fish, and then you have structure at every depth all over the entire lake on a lot of these flowage reservoir systems. So, you know, these fish can spread out so much that uh, there's so many different structural elements that you can tough to fish. And believe it or not, we, are gonna cook one on shore today, Mitchell. And that seems like a good one to cook, doesn't it? That's a per yeah, we don't wanna I, cook a bigger one. I haven't kept a walleye since 2019. I haven't, yeah, I was gonna say, this season I didn't keep a walleye out of this. Lake. Catch them catch every single day. Haven't kept one since 2019. So before you guys go shamming me in the comment section, just, <laughs> you know, just, just keep that in mind. We're making a conscious decision to keep literally one fish and uh, ideally the smallest one we can legally keep. And that's a good one right there. And that's probably gonna be the minority. I don't think we're really gonna catch a lot of fish that small. At least hopefully, right Mitchell? <laughs> nice one. 
Feels decent, huh? Yeah, it does. Look at that. Oh, don't these shallow fish just fight so much better? Than they do. It is the right kind too, Mitchell. Let me get the net. Let me get the net. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. Oh my gosh. Thank you for netting my trophy. It's a 16. Yeah, that's, uh, that is what we are actually after. Right? Yeah, so you guys don't really know like how difficult it can be out here to get legal fish. Yes, very difficult. And we're actually on spot number three right now. You can spend many days out on this lake in the summertime and catch hundreds of walleyes. And they're not just quite this size. But there's a legal one. That's what we're after. Thought about keeping this fish, but can't do it. One walleye will feed both of us, so we're going to get him back in the water. Oh, there he goes. Got to protect your resources. Have to protect this. our resources. Have to, have to, have to. It's so important, you just can't say it enough. And you guys probably seem like I say it in every single video, but it's intentional that I say it in every single video. More fishing pressure than ever before. The DNR will always be reactive instead of proactive when it comes to these resources. And it's a wheel that just turns so slowly that what we need to do is, you, whatever, what that sign says at the boat landing, well, it says two fish, three fish, five fish, ten fish. We have to take it into our own hands as anglers to make sure that we have fish to catch, you know, next year. I knew I'd make it. Oh. Huh? Fish right there. I think we got. Oh yeah, Mitchell. It's the right kind. It needs another that? legal kind. I'll flip that? them. I'll flip them. But it's really pushing it. Why you got, you guys are probably saying. Oh. <laughs> yes. You guys have no idea. You guys just don't even know, really. You guys just don't know. Some people do. Some people probably know. The guys that fish out here. How rewarding. <laughs> These are right here. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. That's a 16 inch. Cold weather. He's just all perked up and beautiful for me. Look at that. Another nice one right there. And I know these are not big fish, but uh, you know, generally I used to do this a long time ago in the fall and I'd come out here and generally I'd catch some bigger fish than this. But I mean, even these are rewarding. You pull a hundred fishermen to come out to this lake, how many of them are catching legal walleyes? And that number's like two people probably out of a hundred. So there we go. There's another nice one. I mean, beautiful fish, right? Up here in some shallow weeds, just working around a bunch of these little, little mouths of some of these big bays. And we'll talk a lot about what kind of spots we're fishing, but you know, we'll keep, we'll keep that one all day if we wanted to, but we're gonna let him go. And just look how pretty that little guy is. Look at him go. See you later, little girl. Grow up to be 17 inches one day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Mitchell? It's, you know, maybe one day he'll even push 17 inches long. But uh, there we go. We got three decent walleyes in the boat so far. And yeah, we've been running around fishing some spots, but not too shabby overall. We'll take it. All right, we're going to take a quick break from the video here to kind of talk about some spots. I realized as I'm editing this video, we didn't talk about spots at all. What's up with that? That's so uncharacteristic for one of my YouTube videos. And Christopher would be upset if I didn't put this piece in here. So here we go. Where were we fishing? Well, really what we're fishing, though, these flowages, reservoirs, the number one thing they have in common is that they have a river that feeds them. And then an old river channel that comes through the system. And a lot of times the areas that I really like to target this time of year, anywhere you have a point coming out into that river channel, but that has some weeds on it. For the most part, we were fishing weeds, and for the most part, this lake has uh, uh, like some natural milfoil, a little bit of coontail, sometimes cabbage, but rarely cabbage. And uh, most times, it's just kind of that junky flowage reservoir style weed that a lot of us are kind of used to fishing in our local lakes. And um, anywhere we had these, these weeds alive, out on the tips of some of these points near river channels, is where we were finding fish. And a lot of times, these flowages are all made up of sweet spots. So, you know, the spots might look something like this. There might be weeds all over it, and there might be all the fish on this spot. It might be on a, two stumps that butt right up to a weed edge on the tip of this. So, you know, in this late fall time frame, on these flowage systems, what we're really looking for is we're really running and gunning a lot of spots because I haven't been out on this lake in, you know, weeks and months pretty much and almost years pretty much this time of year. And uh, checking all these little points that come out in the river channel, looking for weeds, then we're looking for, uh, you know, fish on those spots. Sometimes we're seeing the fish, sometimes we're not seeing the fish, sometimes we're seeing a few fish and catching more fish than a few fish. So um, these are kind of the areas that we're targeting fish this time of year on these flowage systems.
right there. Fish on. Feels like it's probably a nice walleye. Oh yeah, Mitchell, look at that. Net him, net him, boy. Net him, it's our best one of the day. Can't lose this one, Mitchell. Oh man, look at that thing. Bring him here, Captain. Bring him here. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, oh yes. What a score. Yes, yes, yes. You guys have no idea how rewarding these bites are. Yeah, nobody cares about deer hunting, Mitchell. <laughs> get, get that into your brain. <laughs> here we go. Look at this. There we go. There's another nice one. And man, you know, not ideal conditions. Anytime you're fishing shallow water, you just get this f real flat stuff. Not perfect weather, but I am pretty, pretty, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm pretty happy with this guy right here. I mean, look at that. It's about as good as it gets. Pitching up shallow. Some of these flowage reservoir style systems. Looking around a bunch of this kind of milfoil and stomps and all sorts of shallow structure. Catching some nice walleyes doing it. You know, this is by no means just a total whack fest like a lot of the videos we do. But it probably shows a pretty realistic side of walleye fishing that most of you guys are probably used to doing. A lot of these lakes that we fish are not loaded with walleyes. And this one particularly, incredibly not loaded with quality fish. So anytime you see one like that, and a few of them like we have today, we'll take every one of them. There he goes. You know, just pitching that little eighth ounce Google Eye way up shallow. And you know, one thing... Which I've kind of learned, especially on days like this where you're dealing with lethargic fish, is fishing really light, number one, and really not moving that bait far, number two. You know, almost doing a lot of like stationary twitching, keeping that bait in the zone for a long period of time to get those bites. Right there, Mitchell. Good fish. Yep, good fish, good fish. Net, 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 net. Oh man, dude, if this is a, if this is a walleye, we got exactly, we got the fish we want here. It's gotta be a walleye. The way it's running around, it's gonna be a really good walleye here, Mitchell. Yep, yep, yep. Moving weird to me. Oh, my man. My man. Give me some. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's awesome. That's a good fish. Oh man, I tell you what, it is. Right yep, this is a rewarding way to fish. You know, you come out to these lakes, you just don't see a whole lot of these fish. That would pop it? No, that was just super lethargic. Pick up way up on top of this thing, though. We can actually, we're almost like, if you threw the drone up, we're almost like pitching for bass to the point where you can almost like see the milfoil in there. It's definitely a fun way to fish this time of year. Yeah, and it's real tight and shallow. And you know, yeah, I've caught hundreds of these fish this fall like this, but. Um, Fishing is all about rewarding. You know, I love going new places because it's rewarding and I love doing challenging bites. Look at that right there. Look at that, dude. Stud. Fall walleyes up here. I think you do. No, it's definitely not. You definitely got pike. Look at that, though. Stud walleyes out here on these flowage systems. Oh, it is a walleye. It is a walleye. Is it a nice one? Yeah. All right, just flip them, flip them, flip them. Oh, God, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. We got him, though. We got him, though. Another keeper. Yeah. Do we have a two man limit now? I think we do. Uh, yeah, I think we would. Yeah. Look at that. That's, uh, boom, boom, boom. Here, Getting it done. Absolutely love it. Oh, that's so much fun. And it's a lot of work, but that's kind of the rewarding part is combing all this water, figuring things out. There's so much dead water in a lot of these systems in the fall that a lot of times, you know, I think you're almost better off finding a spot that's gotten fish, that has fish on it, and just really, really meticulously working it. Oh. Oh. Oh, right. Oh, is that, is that another good one? Yes, Mitchell. All right, well, yeah, we'll net me. Put the middle scoop down and grab the big scoop. This might be. Walleye scoop. This one. Whoa, what is this? Another nice walleye. Nice. Look at that. Nice, Man, are we having some fun now? Scoop! Oh, yes, victory! <laughs> victory! We have done it. We have successfully filmed the elusive. Chip of flowage, walleye video, and none of the fish that we needed to put on film were 13 inches long. 
I will see. say this feels more rewarding than going to some of the other lakes we can fish and catch a hell of a lot more. Oh yeah. But not work as hard. Yeah, rest assured there's much better walleye bites we could have done today. But uh, sometimes getting out of the comfort zone and going to some of his more challenging bites is a ton of fun. Look at that right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay, Surly. You just got a little spooky there for a second. Look at that. Beautiful perky walleye. I mean, super healthy, especially when they get to this size. You know, when you start seeing fish in this 19, 20 and outbench size, they're super healthy out here. There's just not a lot of them. And we definitely are in a pot of them right now. Can't beat it. There we go. All right. Well, I believe that that is going to do it for a little bit here. But now comes the fun part of the video where we are going to uh, do a little catch and cook little shore lunch out here. And I uh, haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't kept a walleye in years, realistically. And uh, But we're going to enjoy the day take the slower route you know season's almost over there's not really a whole lot of time left for us in a boat this season so doing the taking the slower route. i mean look at this day it's absolutely incredible we got like 50 degrees out in almost uh, no, almost november it's like the day before november right now and these days are numbered so we're gonna go find a nice little spot start a little fire get a little shore lunch going and we'll see you there All right, well, time for the fish fry. The other day I was sitting at home, got a package in the mail from none other than uh, another fellow YouTuber and a guy who makes unbelievable content, um, Jay Seaman, some catch and cook fish batter. And I'll start out this, this part of this video by saying this. As a professional YouTuber and being a full-time YouTuber, spending every day fishing and filming, um, we are heavily reliant upon you guys supporting us and making it kind of happen so we can you know, hopefully deliver the favor to you guys or repay it to you guys by giving you guys great content to watch. And every time you guys like, comment, subscribe, it obviously means a ton and that's kind of what keeps us going and gives us the opportunity to do this full time as a career. The other thing that we're heavily reliant upon is generally um, you know, selling some kind of merchandise. And if you want to show your favorite, if you want to show support to your favorite YouTube channel or anything like that, um, I'd highly, I'd highly suggest, you know, um, doing something like buying fish batter, you know, something like that for, to support, you know, Jay, he's a great YouTuber and things like that. Um, so if you really want to go, kind of go the extra mile and kind of show your thanks to some of these guys who spend every single day and then every single night um, working to create phenomenal content just for everybody to watch. Um, that's a great way to do it right there. But uh, with, with, with that said, we got a couple of different options here of the catch cook fish batter. And I'll link this stuff down below. Special spicy piquant, Mitchell. I'm not, uh, is that how you say it? Well, how do you say it, Mitchell? It doesn't matter how you say it. Okay. And then we got uh, just crunchy fish and game coating mix. We got a couple of different options here, the original or the spicy. We might do a little bit of both. Are you feeling spicy or original, Mitchell? Mitchell says spicy. All right. Well, you get this thing going. I'm going to flip this walleye quick. Oh. Not only did Jay send me some awesome fish batter, but he also, look at this little guy. Comes in a little box just like that right there. A little catch and cook box. And um, we'll flip this thing open. You're going to be jealous on this one, Mitchell. It's a nice little, look at this guy. It reminds me of a knife my grandpa had back in the day. Look at that. Beauty. Has a little catch and cook right on there. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but we're gonna put her to use. Cook up some fish here real quick, or cook up a walleye we kept, and uh, get it going on. All right. Well, it's time for our first catch and cook of the year with the catch and cook. Like I said, I'll link it down below. Let you know how it is. We want the spicy stuff. Caught a pile of walleyes today. Kept one. Oh, it looks good. Looks good. Look at that. All right. Got a nice like. How was it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh. It's physically hot right now. <laughs> Make it taste the spicy too. And it's nice and crunchy. We went with a whole stick of butter, obviously. <laughs> you know. Does it taste a little buttery? You gotta go with a whole stick of butter. <laughs> If you want, Mitchell, you can use a little lemon. Oh, I have to. Oh, dude, you get like have a nice to. little. Oh. You get like a nice little afterburner spiciness to it. Well, can you hurry up with this talking? So <laughs> it I can, is. So All I right. can eat. All right, let's do it. What'd you say you about? I had my muck boots on. Just walked ankle deep right into the water and tennis shoes, but that's all right. All right, fish fry complete. Surly's trying to pick up the last little scraps of butter up there. Surly. 
Let's go, buddy. We gotta go home. Come on. Come on. There you go, buddy. Go, oh, boy. That's a wrap. That is a wrap. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Fun little morning out here on a flowage system. Caught a whole bunch of walleyes and some nice walleyes. Not an easy task a lot of time on these bodies of water, but we came out. We got it done. Hopefully, it was a fun video for you guys to watch. Even got a little shore launch out of the deal, which mm, is always good. So good. And wow. uh, it was actually was really good. Was like, good. I almost want to keep another fish, but uh, <laughs> maybe I'll just keep bouncing states and keep one fish out yeah, of each state. Then I won't feel bad about myself. But um, like I said, I'll link the catch and cook stuff down below. Check that out, and I appreciate you guys watching. No idea where we're going to be doing next, but uh, hopefully catching a bunch of fish somewhere up here um, in the Northwoods. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>